What did you think when that guy was coming toward me? So we're performing in Full Circle Brewery in Fresno. And the thing that everybody would need to know to understand what happened is there was a taco truck outside uh, that showed up right before the show started. And there was also a train that we could hear that kept passing through every so often. Oh, there should not be kids in here. <laughs> Aside from the fact that it's a comedy show, it's also a brewery. <laughs> Let's just point that one out. Uh, do those kids work here? Like, uh, what? They were the taco truck, and they're going to use the rest of them right now. Okay, so they work for the taco truck. <laughs> still not legal, still not legal. You were making quite an impression. <laughs> Here's the thing, like I live in LA and sometimes people talk shit about Fresno and I was like, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna do an awesome show, I'm gonna come back down, I'm gonna tell all of them they're wrong. And now I'm like, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna do an awesome show, I'm gonna come back there, and then I'm gonna be like, some of you were correct. <laughs> that there was some stuff that wasn't completely off. <laughs> whole train full. Uh, <laughs> I went right by actually. <laughs> oh my god, that is... Well, the, all those kids together add up to 21, so come on, let's do this. All right, um. There's no way I could ignore what happened, but it's really the only thing I said about Fresno. Like, I was, I pretty much ignored where we were, as weird as it was, except for that. And then, during the close of the show, I did a joke about how Fresno was kind of in the middle of nowhere. If you want the free stuff, I'll ask you know, for my email list. That way you find out next time I'm ever doing a show in Fresno. I'm never passing through <laughs> on my way to die in the wilderness. There ain't nothing else around here. The brewery itself was kind of loud, so I didn't realize that there was chatter going on in the corner of the bar. Because, you know, there were kegs being moved, there were super high ceilings, and so there was no way for me to really understand and I hate, I hate that this is the only word for it, uh, what was brewing. You go to San Francisco or Sacramento or whatever, and you're from LA, you go to 99, you just, you just stop in Fresno, because that's, that's your last shot. <laughs> Basically, like, I have to pee, I gotta eat. You're like, let's stop in Fresno, or good luck, motherfucker. Like, that's... So overall, the show is great, and then as I'm closing, I notice this guy suddenly walking out. Now, I didn't think anything of it, because at first I'm thinking, oh, he's just leaving. Maybe he doesn't like the show. Maybe he's got to get home for some reason. Not a big deal. So, uh, so here's what I want to do to uh, to close the show out here. Um, I, I'm gonna let you guys participate. Oh my God, this motherfucker's talking about Fresno. What up? What? Fresno's not a bad place. You're the bad dude. You think LA's all cool, oh, dude? Is that what happened? Really? Yeah. You're talking a lot of shit about Fresno. Oh, 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 I think you're bad at words. I think you're bad at comedy. Okay, well, you're in the minority. My job ain't words, brother. I love that he thought he was Norma Ray. Like, you're <laughs> like leading the protest out the door. We should all leave, and then nobody left. I, I didn't realize the mayor of Fresno was here. <laughs> <laughs> if that guy had attacked me, would you have had my back? I get. I mean, I was gonna be. I was gonna have to like Jeff Van Gundy it and just grab grab a body part and hang on because I wasn't gonna stop him. They definitely didn't know who they were coming to see. <laughs> They were like, that was so amazing. He's like, you're fucking with Fresno. Like, the last joke I did was about how Fresno is where you stop because everything else sucks. And he's like, yeah, fuck Fre- what? I don't like words. And then he goes, my job isn't words. I'm like, yeah, I got that. I picked up on that. I understand. It's loading and unloading. I get what your job is. I think through most of it, I was more confused than anything. Like, I didn't even realize what was going on. Like, I wasn't scared at any point, because it took me so long. By the time I figured out exactly what was happening, he was already leaving. What kind of self-conscious mother- is he- is he on house arrest in Fresno? Did he not leave? You're making fun of the one place that ever loved me. I got kicked out of Bakersfield. Got all 
fucked up too, that was amazing. <laughs> He's like, my, my job isn't words, my job is nutritional supplements. <laughs> the thing that I dislike most about this guy is that it takes such an ego to watch a hundred people having a good time with something and be like, this sucks, right everybody? Like, it was a great show. We're all having a wonderful time. And he's like, I'm gonna lead you guys to freedom. And I was like, Fresno can be a little weird. And he's like, fuck you, man! It's the best place! You know what I love about most people from Fresno? You know. regular here? Is he coming here a lot? No? Because he's probably not going to come back. Uh... <laughs> the entrance to the brewery are these glass doors that are stage left. And then there's this moment where everyone starts staring at the doors. And I had to try to figure out what was going on. What? Is he, is he going to drive into the doors? What's happening? What? He's too... The, like the city bus? Are you fucking with me right now? Where is the city bus right now? Oh, it drove by. And he was on the bus. I love Fresno so much, I have to support the public transportation. It was a short bus. Short bus wouldn't have fit that steroided motherfucker. There's no way. <laughs> By the way, I wouldn't say any of this to his face. He murdered me. So, we come back next year. I'm not here. It's just him sitting up here with a teardrop tattoo. What happened? I think there's a moment in this clip where you can see that I knew that this was going to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was going to say is that I've had a lovely time. <laughs> Best part is, so for those of you who are very familiar with my work, you know that I, I kind of got popular from the Heckler Clips online. Yeah. And so when people come to see that, like people come to see a show and a lot of times it doesn't happen. Because that only happens when I've heard 10 or 15 times. So a lot of times people come to a show and afterward they're like, oh, I wish that would have happened. And tonight, you got a live fucking show. <laughs> So we're all part of that together. <laughs> so California's done on the Your Tour and Texas is next, but you are not coming with us. Thus ends the Danny Giles portion. Thus ends the great Danny Giles experiment. I feel good about it. Crowds were great though. They were great. It was great shows. Everyone should go see the rest of it. Yeah, it was packed out. We'll do Texas next. You guys, go see it. When am I coming back? Uh, <laughs> First, you guys need to walk me to my car. <laughs> so, uh, I'm coming back uh, probably maybe next year. If we do this again, it'll be fun. By then, those kids will be grown. Uh, that guy will be driving the bus, you know? It's... I love Fresno. He needs bumper stickers. Oh, he's got bumper stickers. <laughs> you folks were a lot of fun. Uh, you really were, and uh... <laughs> it's a shame that that guy had to leave because if he had left, like, he, he would have heard me at the end just be like, I had a wonderful time here in Fresno. <laughs> but he'd tell him no idea. He'll just walk up, that guy fucking hates Fresno. <laughs> He can, yeah, he can watch himself on YouTube, that's gonna be great. He has no internet connection, so I, uh... He can go to the public library, one of the many services offered in the city of Fresno. I mean, this is almost too thrilling. <laughs>